So fractions, by definition, are part of a whole. We see them all the time in our daily lives, specifically in money. So one fourth of a dollar is a quarter, or one half, one over two, of a dollar is 50 cents. Fractions have a numerator and a denominator, and the numerator represents the part of the fraction, and the denominator represents the whole. So when you are adding, it's similar for subtraction, you want to, for all fractions, you want to remember to keep it in the simplest form. Now, when adding and subtracting, when you have a common denominator, so when your denominator is the same, when you solve the problem, your denominator is going to be the same as well. So, when we solve the problem, 1 8 plus 3 eighths, you get 4 eighths. But, can this be simplified? Yes. yes. What can it be simplified to? 1 half. Right. But when we get to a problem where the denominators are not the same, we have what's called the bow tie method. So this you just cross multiply. So you'll multiply your denominator by the numerator on opposite fractions. And then you'll multiply your denominators. So 5 times 1 is? 5. And 2 times 2 is? 4. And 2 times 5 is? 10. 5 plus 4 is? 9. Perfect. And this bow tie method is the same for subtraction as well. So multiplication is simple. You just multiply straight across. And then always remember to simplify. Division just has an extra step where you take the reciprocal of the second fraction, meaning you flip it, and then multiply. So one half divided by four sixths will become one half times six over four. So six times one is? Six. And four times two is? Eight. But can this be simplified? Yes. And what can that be simplified to? Three fourths. Right. Okay, so most of your problems won't be this simple on the SAT or the ACT. It'll be a little bit more complicated like this, or even more so. But, so let's work through this problem. So, you take two fifths and multiply it by your M value, which is one fifth. And that is two times one. Two times. Or, no, 25, sorry. There you go. And then you divide that by your n value, which is 2 thirds. But, do you do something special with division? Okay. Yes. Perfect. So, that will become 2 over 25 times the reciprocal of this fraction. Three, three over two. Two, two, three over two. Three over two. So three times six is? Six. Th sorry, <laughs> three times two. Well, okay, there's the answer. And <laughs> two times 25? 50. Okay, and then can that be reduced? Yeah, three twenty-fifths. Right. So, then, in relation to, ratio, uh, to fractions, you have ratios. Ratios represent the parts. They are comparing the parts to the parts. So if you, had, if you were in a room with a group of 100 people and you had 60 women and 
40 men, your ratio would be 60 to 40. Yeah. And proportions are comparing your two sets of ratios that are set equal to each other. So your ratio would be seven dogs to 10 cats equal to 21 dogs to three cat, 30 cats. So in a problem, three flowers to seven trees is equal to X flowers to 28 trees. What is X? Um, yes, 12. Good. And all this information is also on your handout. And thank you.